so working on my Tektronics THS 720A which has now been converted over to a 720B one of the things I did was I went ahead and checked the SMD capacitors that's right around there and you can see they're pretty much resistors now but the other one measured actually about 20 ohms so they were bad and then one of them was starting to leak so I'm glad I actually went ahead and changed them because they could have aided those small traces around there but I went ahead and also modified this to a 720p which is pretty easy enough to do and I'll go ahead and flip the board over and show you how to modify yours if you have one but pretty much and we'll use the q-tip here as a reference here you remove these resistors R207 there's one on also this channel too if I remember correctly R213 and then down here you got to remove this SMD resistor over to this spot here. So 205 needs to move to 204. If you don't have it, you can use one of the resistors that you removed from here down to um, 204, which is where I saw that right into there. And then that will pretty much effectively turn it to a 720p. And no, you don't have to redo the calibration because it doesn't change the performance or bandwidth or anything like that. It just gives you the extra options. So I'm going to go ahead and get this back together, but I figure I'll go ahead and show you what's on the board on one of these. And you can see some of the componentry over there in the oscilloscope section. And right down here. I figure I'll give you a good glance before I put it back together. Let's go and flip this over for carefully because this is a new old stock. There's that optic clip. Um optic couplers which i gotta change on one of the channels eventually if i find them but it works good enough for now i did check these capacitors and they all test very good so i'm not gonna mess with those the only two that tested bad were those two and there's the rest of it there's the multimeter section see the resistor network and everything over there but yeah, I'm not going to take the shields off or anything like that for now. You know, it works. I don't want to mess the scope up. This is actually one of my favorite scopes. So I'm going to go and put this back together and hope it's a 720p now. So I went ahead and fully reassembled the Tektronix THS 720A, which hopefully after the modification I did, it'll be now a THS 720p, which allows for ap extra options. We'll go ahead and see. Let's go and power on. I got a battery in it already. Let's see what this thing comes up as. I'm hoping it says 720p. No, the flicker is not visible. When I look at it, it's only in the camera. Let's see what it says. Come on. And yes, it says THS 720p. You can see it right there. I'm not going to update the firmware. Only because updating the firmware, I'll have to do a full calibration and stuff like that. But let's go ahead and see if we get the extra option. And yes, there we go. We got the harmonic option. And we should have all the other power options and stuff like that. Let's go and just see if this thing actually still works. And yep, there you go. It's pretty much bang on like it was before. So it is fully functional. And you can see there, that's what I got the signal generator set at. So it's bang on pretty much. Yep, so now it's a THS 720p and all you have to do is pretty much remove those two resistors, one on each of the channels, and then you got to remove the jumper that goes from one which is a resistor to their zero ohm resistors, but you have to remove that one to that other place as I've shown and that will convert the model over. No, it's not going to get you any extra bandwidth or anything like that because unfortunately you know it's dependent on the hybrid that's in there and then if you got the non-a version you cannot do this modification it will only work with the a version but there you go it was successful so this concludes the video pretty much